If I told you that we could create this digital fabric in less than five minutes with just a few clicks of a button and it's super simple to make would you believe it and that's not all we can also save it with the six most essential texture maps such as alpha base and normal map etc for your 3d design all right how about i show you how i'm here in design pro simply go to weave design new pattern new weave next name the file white and blue gingham check fabrics then by default on the type we have standard then come down here item i'm going to select shirt and normal that is perfect down here under yarn i want two for warp and two for weft if you're not the same simply click in that box there and then change it to two and then click on this enter right there to confirm wheel structure i want that to be plain okay click on that and then select plain after that i will click on okay next i will go to this add button right here to create a stripe after that i'm going to change the value to 0.8 centimeter and then click on this enter right here and next we want to change the color simply click on that color chip and i'm going to select somewhat white color ish like that and then click on ok next we want to create a copy of this wolf simply click on that and then drag it up to this add button right there then i also want to change the color here we want somewhat a little bit of dark blue here right there then click on ok next we want to create two more stripes for the weft simply go to the drop down menu click on that and then come over here to duplicate all on opposite side now i can see right here we have stripe for both warp and weft next we are going to come over here and click on this repeat box okay to check if the pattern repeated correctly which is perfect and after that we will come over here and click on this view simulation button okay so by default we have density we have warp 60.1 and width is 54.1 that is perfect and down here we want to select the super high quality 3d appearance and come down here be sure this make shadow box is checked and fabric size we want to select that one repeat okay then come down here be sure the resolution is 400 dpi if you are not simply click in that box and then select 400 and then click on enter here and be sure the create new page box is checked as well now i'm going to click on the drop down menu and we want to select export for u3m and by default i already have mine in cotton however though i will show you how to change that to cotton yarn simply go to all selects and then by default i have text default 3 click on that and we want to select the cotton 01 after that be sure thickness unit under cotton count simply click on that and then select cotton count and everything is perfect now i'm going to click on ok there you go next we want to save this file simply click on reference and then go to desktop and then click on ok now i'm going to file type we want to select png or if you want jpeg select jpeg however i'm going to select png here after that i will click on ok after that i will click on exit here to get out and we also want to save this weave file as well simply go to save and then name is perfect i'm going to type in view then underscore after that save i'm going to navigate to my folder which is desktop and picture directory is perfect target view excellent i'm going to click on save and now we are safe to close the file simply go to this delete basket click on that drop down arrow and then click on close all file and then click on no to all next let's go to file explorer and that's up there it is white and blue game check fabric double click to open and here this is the texture map as well as the texture that you can apply this onto your 3d design okay there you have it design star i hope you guys found this video helpful and remember to follow me on encoded fashion for more awesome tips like this if you have any question leave a comment below i love to hear thanks for watching guys